Yo, 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 yo. Let's make your move night. Yo, 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 yo. Then we'll go live on the IG as well. Checking connection. Wonder if that's going to like mess with the connection on. Facebook. Oh, wow. Hey, Gus. Hey, Heather. What's up, Blackula? Let's hear some tunes. I'm dropping <laughs> Oh. Deepak, if you could name one of the songs then I don't know, I'll do something. You 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 name it. I'll bring you some pickles. I'll bring you a, new pickles. By the way, if you did not know, me and my brother make pickles. It's called the Riley Brothers Pickling Company. We do it with uh, our buddy Casey Wells, and our pickles are delicious. They're semi-regional, though. Where's the raccoon hat? Oh man, did I not give that back to you? I have no idea where that might be. What's up, IG? If I don't hear a pin and I'll hope I'm not eating any more pickles. <laughs> Larry Hoover. We're playing only songs from Make Your Move tonight. I promised last night I would do that. And then I asked everybody to, uh, to request and I was gonna take the three most requested songs and play them. So, um, I hope Cody and Jamie, if you guys, Cody McCarty and Jamie McCarty, some of my best buddies from Northern California, they, uh, their family owned a print shop and they printed all of our merch pretty much since day one. We found out about those guys through the band Stole Your Woman and, uh, they were like, yeah, we get these dudes to print our shirts and they gave me the contact and I hit them up and... We've been like the best of friends ever since. It's one of the, the greatest relationships that I fortunately have been able to hold up my end of, you know, keeping in touch. Um, but there was one time at a show uh, in Northern California. They were there. Um, I think some of the guys uh, from the puppets were there, uh, Scott included. And I just started ad-libbing the very beginning of Girl in Mexico. And it was just like, weird devil went down to whatever um, I don't know but I've been trying to figure out the words uh, Scott sent some lyrics to Cody and Cody sent them to me I'm probably not gonna sing those exact ones but uh, here goes I had a dream my name was Dave down and the devil came he said hey Dave I'm gonna take you back well, I said devil I'm gonna kick your ass Mexico. Oh, I 
One day she packed her bags and said she'd go Before she left she said all her goodbyes Her father was in there, her mother cried She wrote a letter home Mother, how are you? Forward speaking tongues She had places she should go Maybe somewhere Mexico One day she got a letter in the mail It was her mother saying all is well She said her father needed her to pray She said mama I'll be home someday And she's calling home And her father spoke It's been such a long time She's calling home And her mother spoke It's been such a long time to get there They cried, she's on her way home And now she's home Thank you. Girl of Mexico. That was for Greg Waltney, uh, April Frank, one of my most favorite people in the entire world. Happy birthday. It's a good song. It's a good tuning for that song, all these open notes. It's good. It's good stuff. One of those songs where like the lyrics tell a story. You don't know if like the lyricist is like saying that that's a story about them or not, but it's a story that like everybody can kind of relate to in their own way. Hey Jay Bird, tell your wife I said happy birthday. Uh, this next one it's another one of my favorites it's generally hard to sing this song because it's like so high uh, in my register um, but 
uh, I don't know, maybe be in quarantine and taking care of myself. I'm like uh, hitting these notes a little better. I feel a little bit more confident about it. Probably would never do this acoustic by myself. I, I like playing this song with the band because if I mess up, like all of their sounds kind of cover that up. I don't know if you guys know this, but I mess up a lot live. Forget my own words a lot. Uh, you know, it's just kind of my thing. Play them strings. I'm going to play these strings for you, Barb. I'm going to tune them strings first. That's what I'm going to do. This song's too pretty to be playing out of tune. Did anybody like calculate what the most requested songs were? Because I did not. I just eyeballed it. Anybody want to teach me how to use a capo? There we go. Play some fucking white snake while set. Man, if I could play some white snake, I, I would. Bombs over Baghdad. I did see somebody uh, requested Godzilla. And that was the number one. That's what you said, Zach. What's up, IG? What's up, Keegan? Derek Landry requested this one, so that's why I'm playing it. If you could go
14 years and I've not forgotten a word. It's been 35 years and I forgot all of them, I feel like. That one's for you, Derek. It's crazy to see all the different songs that I was trying to, uh, that I was nominating. It's like five or six that pretty much everybody says. I wonder how many times I've played this next song in my life. I would say over 2,000 times, at least. I remember where I was when I wrote this song. We had a uh, we had a band house. We lived off of uh, Iris Street on like the north side of campus uh, of LSU, and we pretty much like all lived in this one house. And we converted our uh, our living room into our like practice area. And we just lived. We worked at the catery at night and would like wake up middle of the day and write and practice music um, and I remember having this idea and the idea was I want to write a song where I'm saying a lot of words real fast like that was it the band shack uh, do you get tired of playing these songs ever I wonder that with every artist yeah I think so I mean I think most artists' favorite work is their most recent. And so, like, in the lifetime of Meriwether, this is, like, all the oldest stuff for the most part. Um, my buddy Clay emailed me a bunch of songs from this band Soul House that I was in before Meriwether. And they're interesting. Like, if you like pop punk rock uh, and Weezer and stuff like that, you'll dig that. I might, I might try and learn some of those songs and play that stuff. <clears throat> Which, I mean, you get tired of playing these songs, but then, you know, when you play them every night for 285 days a year for three years straight, and then you go two years without playing music, you know, and then you play a show like once or twice a year, and uh, it's still like, you still want to play the most recent stuff, like the Andy Ford stuff that I've been working on, I love that stuff, it's probably my favorite stuff that I've ever done at this moment, you know? Um, but there's also something about these songs and Make Your Move in general that, like, brought so many people together. And I think that was the, the magic of that album. It wasn't necessarily that it was, like, mind-blowing, game-changing music, because it wasn't. It was really good stuff and it had its own, like, unique thing going on. 
But I think the reason why that album is so successful is because it brought so many people together, you know? Like, when we do those Christmas shows, I know almost every single person in the crowd, personally, you know? And it's, yeah, it's definitely nostalgic, you know? It's nice. I'm gonna say I played this song over 3,000 times in my life. Maybe four if you, can, if you count practice. Wrap your arms around my neck so tight So I can tell what you did where you were last night I can smell a perfume on my bed And all she wanted was to see the world She met this boy who fell in love with the girl Love was not there she said And I wish that I could buy you all the flowers in the world Say I'm sorry all a half a million times I wish I could erase the fact I am not a perfect man it sounds like such a capital idea. I wrap your arms around my neck so tight so I can tell what you did and where you were last night. I can smell a perfume on my bed. And all she wanted was to see the world. She met this boy and fell in love with the girl. Love. Was not there, she said. Is this the end of us now? Love will take you away. Julianne, is this the end of us now? Love will take you away. Thank you. A little slow version, slow Julian. Throwing in that major on the minor at the end. Something you would do with jazz, and that's not a jazz song. That's just me probably messing up. This song kept me alive through middle school. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh man. 
J-E, my dude. It's a fun one, man. Thank you, guys. Uh, tomorrow night, um, me and Amy are going to do New Music Friday, where we try to guess what new music that just came out sounds like based solely off of the album artwork alone. Um, and then Saturday, I might take a little rest, um, but my arm is like starting to, to hurt again. I don't want to overdo it. I've been playing more songs than I normally have been. But uh, I do plan on doing a night where I play uh, three songs off of Plugging the Snakes. Because I've been listening to that a lot lately after a couple people requested songs. I did uh, Who Do You Think You Are last night? Or maybe the night before? Um, it was just fun going back and listening to that uh, that album, Plugging the Snakes. It's, it's beautifully angry. Tell people about Twitch. The feed is so much better. Yeah, go check it out on Twitch. Or on Instagram tonight. I don't always do Instagram. See ya, Keegan. I'm gonna do one more, though. This is for Heather and her little girls. Tank me now. I'll show you how to live your life. Like you should be the one at 17 to kill yourself with the gun. You said you'd be there, you will be there to make up for the things that you've done. You said you'd be there, you are never there to make up for the things.
inside of me and soon you'll see Thank you guys. Thanks for all the requests. I appreciate it. Thank you for spending time with me tonight. Uh, thank you to McMaster Guitars uh, for all of their help keeping my guitars sounding so good and for building such amazing guitars. Um, please make sure to check out uh, Music Cares. It's an amazing foundation helping musicians all over the world. And uh, check out tankproof.org. My buddies, the Thomas Bros, are doing some really great things here locally. So, love you guys. Have a good one.